Hello. Wow. Yeah, this is a big crowd. So, organizer, the Tsune chan, Tsune san, where are you? Okay. So, organizer told me, so you feel like the rock star on the stage. So, I will not see why. So, for many of you, that this is first time to knowing about me. So, first, I'd like to show you something good. Okay. This is a Japanese elementary science textbook. And that's me. So, <laughs> thank you, thank you. If someone in the textbook, they must be a great person, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. So, so I am a strawberry farmer. So, and I have an agricultural farming company called GRA. And I sell strawberries. Oh, just mom. And I sell, uh, I sell 100 tons of strawberry a year. So maybe it is difficult for you to imagine. So I use my great IT skill to make an advanced calculation for you. So 100 strawberry is 5 million strawberries. And if you divide that by 365 days, that is 13,700 13, a day. OK? And if you divide that by 24 hours, that is about 13, no, 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 570 strawberries a day, an hour. And if you divide that by 60 minutes, so that is 10 strawberries a minute. So, so one strawberry every six seconds. So if you eat one strawberry every six seconds, and without sleeping, and the whole year, so you can be our number one customer. So please talk to me after my presentation, OK? <laughs> yeah. So the, we, we are famous for our brand name, Strawberry. Uh, we created this Minaki Ichigo Strawberry. And we are selling in all over the world. Maybe this is Hong Kong in 2015. And this is our sparkling wine made from our strawberries. And this is me selling strawberry in the UAE. So we are selling in nine different countries, Japan, China, Singapore, Malaysia, and Taiwan. So I don't remember, but nine countries. So, but, so this is the Slash Tokyo is next generation startup event. So maybe you are thinking, what is so next generation about this strawberry farmer, about me? OK. So GRA is an agri-tech company. This greenhouse field is 100 sensors. So we have grown this big and this fast of using cutting edge agricultural system. And but when I started my company, I had never planned to be a farmer. I'd like to tell, I'd like to show the story. That's how to go here. This is me in 2010, so very young. So about ten, nine years ago, so I was the owner of a small IT company in Tokyo. And oh, I forgot to smile. So bad. I smiled in the textbook, so it's OK. <laughs> OK. So but. So something happened that changed my life. Uh, 
the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and the tsunami destroyed my hometown Yamamoto. This is, this is a picture after three days that disaster. The four percent of the population and fifty percent of the land was washed away, and twenty percent people left for a bigger city to find job. And I lost twenty of my good friends at that time. So many people saw that this town maybe never recover and just disappear. I went from Tokyo to help reconstruct Yamamoto. I cut my time uh, in my business, and this is, this is here. I am helping to shovel away the ocean sludge as a volunteer. And it's, it was a very good experience for me. And I met uh, many people who guided me to where I am now. This already is in Yamamoto. He helped me start my journey in my life. And he said, please create new jobs and revitalize our town and bring the young people back. And she told something I never forgot. You are an entrepreneur, so you should do it. That's when I realized that as an entrepreneur, we should contribute to society as an entrepreneur. And I found my new direction in my life as a social entrepreneur. And dedicate myself to rural development through businesses. I set out to find solution. And I was very lucky because I met strawberry. I found strawberry. Yamamoto was very famous for strawberry farming. And strawberry industry, you know, strawberry industry is three billion US dollar industry in Japan. So I found my path. And through my volunteer work, I met Yohei. He is co-founder of GRA and he lost his five years old daughter to the tsunami at the time. Uh, he was a government officer in Yamamoto and in charge of organizing our volunteer work. We both shared a passion to revitalize Yamamoto and decide to help existing farmer with their businesses through IT and the marketing skill. But it was not easy as we thought. So farming industry is not easy. Unlike IT industry, farming industry is rooted in long, long tradition and bound by bureaucracy. You know, so I crashed into war after war after war, and we chose only our viable option. I started my own farming company. Yohei introduced me, Mr. Hashimoto. He's legendary, very legend people. Because when I say legendary, Mr. Hashimoto was god of the strawberries. 
He has 40 years strawberry farming career, and almost all our farming technology originate from him. Strawberry is known as the most difficult crops to grow. Generally speaking, as a new farmer, you need about mm, at least 10 years to grow good crops. But for my case, by letting Mr. Hashimoto to take the lead, we got very good and uh, big strawberries from our first years. Of course, we'd like to expand our technology to on larger scale. And I share the technology to younger, for younger generation. So I asked him how to do it, how to grow strawberries. So tell me about. And Mr. Hashimoto said to me, communicate with the strawberries, head to head, just like with the ladies. Oh my God. So, so I tried my best, but I can't, I couldn't talk to the strawberries. And later, Mr. Hashimoto said, Hiroki, uh, you must not be very good with the ladies. <laughs> oh, no comment. <laughs> so, anyway, so I can't talk to the strawberries but Mr. Hashimoto could do it. And, and he decided every his decision based on what he heard. And we originally followed a um, farming manual, how to grow strawberries. I bought a farming, farming manual from bookstore, but this kind of farming manual is nothing compared to Mr. Hashimoto. He told me, so follow me at least 15 years, so you can do it too. So I can't wait 15 years. And of course, Yamamoto Tan couldn't wait 15 years. So, and I'm not sure so Mr. Hashimoto would be around here after 15 years. So I had to, I had to speed things up. So we had to capture his wisdom before it was gone forever. And, uh, and to capture, we are using computer system. Uh, that is good, best, that is correct choice, because this one month's knowledge was the same as so all this. So Mr. Hashimoto is a, was a human super sensor to Capture, to capture his great wisdom, we set about 100 sensor and the mechanism in our greenhouses. And to translate his word, Mr. Hashimoto's word, into metrics. And that's fair, I think. I knew it was a time to go all out, the, so I invest in IT farming. So finally, so about uh, 300 days after we started strawberry farming, Mingaki Ichigo strawberry was born. This is, at, this is in less than one year, we start strawberries. So, by the way, this one of these is 1,000 yen, so very expensive. But you must buy this strawberry today, 
so go to Izetan Shinjuku Ten, okay? So, okay. And so, fast forward today, so we still learn more and more about strawberries. So, this, there is a picture, this picture of recent improvement. Because of them, because of, because of them, so we can change the strawberry farming business game completely. We now, production is stable and predictable. And we can still, even before harvesting, we can sell, even before harvesting. And we are forming contract with buyers, and then per unit sales have increased by 2.5 times. Maybe farmers win, and distributors win, and strawberry lovers win too. And our methodology has also been successful outside of Japan. This is India. We succeed to grow strawberry in India too. We have very good strawberry in India. Like this, we found we could bring life to impoverished area all over the world. And realizing our potential to change the economy, we have established GLA Agri platform. It is, a, it is a platform for new farmer to use our methodology and start their own successful farming. So today, so coming to Slash Tokyo, I think so many of you may be struggling, you struggling to find your business idea, maybe. So I hope my story have given you something idea, and I, I hope you take away one message. Whether your business or even in life, when you are stuck, try something completely new. Oh my God, next slide, please. Okay, so I moved from city to countryside. I found my new path to the future. Next slide. I, I, I stopped for, I stopped for working for money. I found a partner who changed the world with me. I went from high tech to low tech. I started my career as a strawberry farmer. I learned from generation before me. I discover the magic of feeling. I went low tech back to high tech. I discover how to create cutting edge agri tech. And I went, went from domestic to international. I realized through startup, we can change the world. Every time I tried something new, we found the bridge to connect to our next stage in my life and business. So if you can't create something new, if you stay in the world that you know, so take a dive into a completely new world. And magic 
will happen. Thank you.